Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from MidraAutomation.com and welcome to part 15 of our API testing with REST Assured and Cucumber course. And in this video, we are going to talk about JSON Schema Matcher. So the JSON Schema Matcher is a way of matching the JSON Schema at least for its type and whether it is an actual array and things of that nature from the JSON response that you're actually getting in from a particular API. So this is very, very handy if you're gonna quickly check if your JSON schema is matching the one that you are looking for. So let's quickly see everything in action and understand how things work. So for that, I'm gonna flip to my IntelliJ IDE. All right, so now I'm gonna first create the JSON schema or the JSON body that I'm actually looking for uh, as a response and I'm gonna match that with our code. So as you know, in our earlier videos, I actually showed you this postman for at least the posts uh, that we used to get. So if I run this particular code, you can see that we actually get a post of this particular value. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a JSON file uh, and I'm gonna paste that over the classes folder. So basically this is where the JSON schema should be sitting and I will tell you what is the reason for that. So I'm just gonna create the post.json, I'm gonna paste this, uh, and I'm also gonna make this one as a string because you will see an error, so I'll show you why. Uh, I'm just gonna save this, and I'm gonna close this particular post.json. So this is basically sitting under the class path or the execution path where the post is actually sitting in. So this is where actually all our cores are gonna be compiled and gonna be sitting in, and that's where this particular post.json is required as well. So as that said, I'm gonna go all the way to the uh, get posts code that we already discussed. I'm gonna copy them, and I'm gonna paste this over here for this particular code. And I'm actually gonna verify with the JSON validation this time, and I'm gonna see how it actually works. So I'm just gonna put what is called as a with JSON validation here. So this is a new step definition, and I'm gonna create that under the get post steps. And over here for the get post steps, I'm actually gonna do the matching operation. So if you remember in our earlier videos, all we have did is, uh, if you can see here, we got the response uh, and then we verified using the JSON path and later we moved all the way to the POJOs uh, and then we used the deserialization and we placed the JSON object into a class files. But this time we're gonna verify with the schema which is sitting within the class path over here. So for doing that, we somehow need to get our response as a string value. So as you can see, I'm just gonna get a response uh, body as a string. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the response, I'm gonna get a body, and in order to get it as a string, we have a as string method. So this as string method basically returns the body as string for us. And using this, we can actually match it very easily using the assert that method. So I can now have the response body with the match JSON schema and class path, which we can actually obtain from a separate library, which actually does not ship along with the uh, rest assured. So if you just go to the Maven and search for JSON schema validator uh, and if you go all the way to uh, Maven and also put rest assured uh, right so you can see we actually have this particular uh, JSON schema validator so I guess there is a latest version which is 4.1.2 so I'm just gonna copy this and I'm gonna paste this guy over here in our palm.xml file uh, over here. So you can see that it's currently resolving the dependency. While we're updating this one, we can also go back and update our old version of the rest assured as well, which is 4.1.2 as well. Because now we can make sure our libraries are up to date. Uh, all right, which is pretty cool. 
and now I can directly go to our uh, get post. Uh, we are getting this bigger error. The reason is because we also need to uh, change the language levels and also the Java SDK to 10. All right, so the errors are gone. And now we can actually uh, use the match JSON schema in class path uh, static method that is going to be looking something like this. Uh, where I can directly call the static method for our assert that method, this one. And in here, I can pass the posts.json. I think it's post.json, which is cool. And now I can save this. Uh, still getting this error. I'm not sure why. Let's see. Oops, it has changed again. And now if I try to build this project, you can see that the build has successfully completed as well. So now that our uh, JSON path has been matched and everything is looking good right now. So just before we run the happy path scenario, I'm going to make this guy as an array of posts, something like this. And I know that the return value is actually not an array of posts. It's because uh, we're going to be getting only one post. As you can see, posts are one, so it's not going to return as an array uh, anyways. So if I try to run this particular scenario, uh, maybe we need to make this as for JSON schema validation. And now try to run this because there are two uh, scenarios, same name. Anyways, it's going to fail, which we know that. And now if you see the error, you can see that it says that there is a JSON schema validation exception and it shows that there is an error. Uh, the, so the level is basically error here. The JSON value is of type array, not a JSON schema. So basically found an array, uh, which is not the correct value because we are not expecting the post to be of an array in here. It is not an array basically guys. So once you remove this, and now if you try to run this particular scenario, what's basically going to happen is it's going to validate the particular schema, which is coming in from the response. And now it's going to say that it has kept passed. So, which is pretty cool. And now, as I told you before, if I just try to remove this uh, double quotes, and now if I try to uh, run the same scenario you can see that we get an exception as well and this time the level is not the error basically the level is actually warning so the server is returning as a string of the id not an integer of id but we are uh, trying to pass it as an uh, string there integer there so it's telling us that uh, the keyword id found as integer but the expected is actually the string value so it tells us exactly what the particular error is and where is that error, what is the type that we are expecting and whether it is an integer type or, or whether it is an uh, literal types or it is not an integer or array types and everything much, much easily. So this is the power of the JSON schema validator, which is available within Rest Assure. And it's very, very handy while you are trying to compare a larger number of schema responses coming from your API, which is pretty cool. So that's it guys. This is how we can work with JSON schema validator. Starting our next video, we will see how we can actually improve our rest of Studio extension in much easier fashion because now it's getting a headache for us with so many different methods, just duplicating the same kind of codes in many different areas. Once again, thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.